Okay guys, I want to show you how to do a quick test on this unit after you've rewired it. Turn the power on, especially if you can't get a hold of FMOC or you don't want to, don't need to. You can test these units right here. Press the, the home button. It says it's starting, but we can scroll down. I'm using the down arrow. And you see where I've got user access bracketed there? Hit enter. Now it's asking you for the password. The password is one, two, three, four. Hit OK. Now we're into the user access mode. Now, now hit the home button again, and I'll show you. I'm going to try to get to this as quick as you can to keep this video short. Use the down arrow, and we're going to scroll down. You guys can see what I'm going through here. Analog inputs, binary inputs. You can see where the brackets are around. Compressor status, unit setup, utilities is what we want. We're going to hit enter. See where it says simulate? I'm going to use the arrow over. But, so the simulate is bracketed. Hit enter. Now see where it says simulate room sensor? We're not simulating that this is a thermostat. We're, this is the temperature that it thinks the sensor is in the room. So I want it to think it's hot because it's actually fairly cool out here in Minnesota. It's in the mid 70s today. So it's cool in the store. So I'm going to scroll down, hit enter. I'm going to use the increase button. And if I keep hitting it here, you guys notice where it says decrease, see how that number is going up? 73.4, 74, 70, I'm going to try to get it up to like 78 degrees here, real quick guys. And I'll show you how you do a test on this thing. Unfortunately you can't press the button and get it to keep going up, so I'm going to do it with my right thumb because I'm a little quicker that way. as fast as I can for you guys. So 80 degrees. Now I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to scroll up so the brackets are around where it says simulate off. I'm going to hit enter. I want to change that where it's flashing off to on. So now I've got on. Now I'm going to hit OK. Now simulate mode is on is what that tells me. So now in a couple of minutes here it thinks it's now this unit now thinks it's 80 degrees in the store. We've just fooled it into thinking it's room sensor. Simulate room sensor is 80 degrees in the store. So it's not a, you don't set it like you set a thermostat, guys. You're, you're fooling it into, you're telling it what the temperature is in the space by doing this. I can hear the drive starting to spin up on the blower. I'm going to unplug my cord here. My phone's almost dead. And what should happen here is that the compressor should start. And that's what we want. So we can, and then we're gonna show you real quick how to verify if our rewiring here that we did has got that fixed so that the react fan motor, which is the condenser motor for that compressor comes on so we don't trip on high head pressure. That compressor should, should start here any minute. I'll try to get this done as quick as I can for you guys. what it's like when you're standing here waiting for something 30 seconds seems like a like an eternity there we go compressor on you can see the drive spooling up easiest way to know if this unit is running I can actually hear it I can hear that motor they always got that squeaky sound to them and if you look up can see that flap is up, which means that that fan is running. So I'm drawing air through those condenser coils. Is how this works, guys. I'm going to shut the fan off. Draws air in. The air is hot. Heated air off the refrigeration. Heated compression into that and blows it out the top. Wheel turning. And that's how we fix that. 
Now keep in mind guys, that that circuit we just wired with that relay, you can see that relay is lit, that one CR2, it just closes the circuit to allow this to run. This still gets a signal from here on these other two cables once the pressure gets because it's trying to it's trying to maintain 450 psi so this drive ramps up and down to maintain 450 psi head pressure that's why it's got a freak drive on it it's trying to keep the head pressure up because we're trying to keep the heat up we want hot air going through that that desiccant wheel backwards goes through that desiccant wheel backwards and out through the roof and that takes that moisture out with it and it dries the wheel or reactivates the wheel. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell, guys. Hope that helps.